Oh boy, tomorrow is going to be a very big update. Now, back when the developers have updated the Trello roadmap, I didn't really know what to expect with the special carriers. I thought that it could be super carriers, we also thought that it might be a new type of carrier, and of course there was also the chance that it could be faction carriers. Well, we are receiving 4 new faction carriers tomorrow, or today depends on when this video goes live, and this is something that is unique to this game in EVE Online we don't have uh, we don't have any faction carriers we have faction super carriers and faction dreadnoughts as well as faction titans but we don't have faction carriers so this this is something unique and totally uh, new for this game now am i going to be flying one well that's a good question uh, there's also a lot of new modules new fighters new drones and a totally new event. So, let's take a quick look at the game announcement. According to Scope, the Museum Arcana in Zims, in Zims was attacked and the Concord technical experts reckon the Angel Cartel might have mastered a rig rigging technology for assault ships. According to certain sources, this technology originated from a search for ancient relics. And the muse Museum attaches great importance to it. All clues have pointed to an advanced, uh, undiscovered area on the boundary of the universe, the Ember Sea. Hmm, could they be hinting at the drone region? That's a good question. We will find out very soon. Lost Technologies and the Deep Steady Sky. The undercurrent surge in New Eden as the Yule Festival approaches only by chasing the light and continuously moving forward. Can you escape the vortex of age and emerge victorious? Okay, that, that, in, that on the end makes sense. That's how you play EVE. Now, let's go and take a look at the um, Verestal Assault ship. Now, this is the, these are the new ships. And uh, let's see what the description will tell us. The Verestal Assault Ship is a frontline combat faction carrier modified based on the Imperial Carrier. Some technologies of the Imperial Dreadnought have been combined, modifications have been made to carrier hangars, command communications and power systems, better ship protection has been implemented, and control of lightweight frigates and lightweight destroyers has been achieved at the expense of fighter control range. As a frontline Combat, a combat carrier, the Verestal Assault Ship can possess combat capabilities that are far superior to ordinary carriers for a short time with the help of the Swarm Mothership Defense Module. In addition, they can even resist attacks from multiple battleships alone. However, they still cannot confront powerful dreadnoughts head-on. How, how to obtain reverse engineer carrier blueprints then manufacture using regular carriers and capital components. Main characteristics, Anaconda, a Gurista's faction care with extra protection, Vazago, a faction care from the Angel Cartel with the mobility bonus, Astartes, a faction care with the Blood Raider Covenant with the bonus on energy neutralizer, Electronic Warfare, Villain, a faction care from the Serpentis Corporation with the bonus on Webifer Electronic Warfare, Due to lightweight ship ha ships having a weapon system that is highly different from fighters and whereas the assault ships have a more complex structure, they cannot be fitted with fighter rigs. Uh, that's a interesting change. Bombard tactics and automatic defense implants directly apply to the capsules and the technologies used by lightweight ships are mainly drone technologies. So it takes it also takes effect on lightweight ships operated by capsules, lightweight ship rigs and Verestal assault ship then of course will be launched soon. Lightweight ship, Light, compared to the four empires which have, which own large in industries, the consumption of fighters on carrier puts a severe burden on the logistics system of other factions for better adaptation to drone combat. Each faction has made modifications to frigates and destroyers, particularly their reliable and easy to manufacture features to make them more lightweight and drone friendly. Lightweight ships use technologies that are different from those of fighter drones so they cannot be fitted with the modules and use the skills of fighter drones. How to obtain reverse engineer frigate blueprints or destroyer blueprints then manufacture using frigate or destroyer 
and modules. Main characteristics, lightweight fighter and modified Imperial frigate with high mobility and low protection. Its interceptor model has specialized electronic warfare capabilities and can be fitted with warp scramblers. Lightweight destroyer, a modified Imperial destroyer with high protection and stronger firepower. Its offense, its offensive model, its offense model has enhanced protection and interception capabilities. Can be fitted with Stadis warbifers. Lovely. <laughs> Let's go next. AI reverse technology. Several major corporations have successfully started to invest in their surging, in their searching experimental AI blueprint assisted design technologies techniques. Uh, their hope is to perform rapid reverse engineering as well as designing more distinctive modules or ship structures. However, this reverse engineering technology has not been fully developed. The iterative AI algorithm may amplify the original manufacturing features or errors of carriers during the process of reverse engineering the scanning data, resulting in a unpredictable design in unpredictable design outcomes. Main characteristics, when reverse engineering one module blueprint, the capsule might obtain one of the module blueprints due to different outcomes. This technology will be used for the first time for reverse engineering the experimental carrier hangar modification system. Capsules have a chance of obtaining one of the six variant blueprints after they start the reverse engineering. Okay, next, new modules, swarm mothership defense module. A shield generating and damage control system that connects the mothership to the lightweight ship so that, the so that some damage can be transferred to the mothership, greatly improving the performance of lightweight ships for a short time. Force closed when both mothership shield and armor is destroyed. Okay, lovely. <laughs> Experimental uh, carrier hangar modification system. Heavily modified structures inside the carrier hull, allowing for a more versatile assault ship to be more accommodated after fitting. Now that's interesting. Perhaps internal hangar might be available on the on the carrier. New sentry drones, sniper and offense sentry drones have been added to the game. Sniper drones are more accurate and effective against small targets, while offense drones have stronger firepower and are more effective against large targets. How to obtain manufacture them based on the blueprints obtained in level 9, 10 scout cosmic anomalies. New fighters, Navy Assault and Offense Fighters have been added, including Space Superiority Fighters and Attack Fighters. Navy Fighters have more comprehensive abilities, Assault Fighters are faster and more accurate, but have a weaker defense and are highly suited for chasing down enemies. Offense Fighters have strong firepower and defense, but are very slow and more suited to fighting long-range enemies. How to obtain manufacturing based on the blueprint obtained in Capital Ship Rift. Showdown mode the, to counter frigates interference with the electronic with the attack capabilities of dreadnoughts in electronic warfare. The scientific research institutions of various factions have conducted a in-depth research on the conversion of electromagnetic field poles in showdown mode. Now the weapon disruption and sensor dampening resistance can be greatly improved in showdown mode. However, this also has a side effect on the ion force field, making remote repairs and capacitor transfers less effective. New effects added in showdown mode, weapon disruption, sort of happening, and remote repair resistance plus 75%. So my drone not going to get buffed. Lovely, That's this is exactly what I needed. Excellent. Cosmic anomaly adjustments. New fighter blueprints have been added to the loot crates of capital ship rift while retaining the old logistic drone blueprint. New drone blueprints have been added to the loot crates of the level 9, 10 scout cosmic anomalies, including assault, sniper, and offense while retaining the old logistic drone blueprints. New skills, versatile attack ship operations improves the handling of versatile attack ships. Versatile assault ship defense upward improves the defense of the versatile attack ships. Team combat improves the performance of the swarm model ship defense module. Lightweight ship combat theory improves the performance of lightweight ships. Gurista, Angel, Cartel and Blood Raider and Serpentis capital Ship invention principles, okay, that's that's nice. And of course we have the new event over here, which uh, you can pause and uh, read with the, we can read the description on the screen if you like. But the main thing about this uh, this update are the new carriers and the new modules as well as the new assault ships. Reach.
Okay, so let's talk about the Warp drive new active. carriers, let's talk about the new modules and, well, uh, other things like that. Now, first I, I would like to say that I really like the names on the ships. They did stay loyal to the naming principle of the faction ships. Basically, uh, the Anaconda is a snake, the Vasago is a fallen angel, the Astatis is basically a radioactive material that's located inside of the planet, and well, the villain is, well, a villain that doesn't need any explanation. So, uh, back when we, when we were introduced to the new ships, we had this picture and, well, uh, it's not super capitals, obviously, However, uh, at this moment, we all thought that it's either faction carriers or some new form of carrier. And of course, as time went on and as the developers have teased us with even more pictures, we did come to the conclusion that we are getting faction carriers. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, in EVO 9, we don't have faction, faction carriers. We have faction super carriers, two of them, and of course, we have uh, the Faction Force Auxiliaries, also two of them. And there is Faction Dreadnoughts, uh, three of them to be more accurate. And of course there is a bunch of Faction Titans as well. But no Faction carriers, so this is entirely uh, new and... I personally... Not, I'm not really sure if I will fly this carrier, after I already fly a Dreadnought. My ultimate goal would be to fly the Tremosh. And speaking of faction stuff, I believe faction dreadnoughts are next to be added. Because if we follow uh, the upload, if, if you follow the release, how they release stuff. First they released the carrier stuff, and then they released the dreadnought stuff. So the next thing that we might get are faction dreadnoughts, and then my goal, my goal ship. Uh, will be available. Now, I can only imagine how much uh, that thing will cost. Now, how do you manufacture uh, one of these ships? Well, the standard carrier materials uh, are required as well as an entire carrier hull. So basically in order to manufacture one of these ships you have to have uh, one imperial carrier and you need to use that imperial carrier in order to manufacture a faction carrier. Which honestly, I would say, it is a very, um, I would say, a very smart thing to do. Adds, uh, adds a lot more work for the industry side of the game to work. And overall, uh, I believe uh, those of you who like to do industry uh, will certainly enjoy this update because there is going to be a lot of stuff to be produced. And of course, uh, since you all know how the market works and how the hype for the new stuff works. Things will be super expensive, so if you want to print some ISK, now is the chance to do so. Now, one of the most interesting aspects of this update are definitely the new lightweight ships or drones, or whatever you want to call them. Because in order to manufacture them, you will have to uh, have a normal Imperial ship, and then you modify uh, that Imperial ship. Which means that uh, the industry side of the game will certainly enjoy this update, there is going to be a lot of ships to be made in order to produce uh, as many of these drones as possible. So I know a lot of you wanted a mineral sink, a lot of you wanted to have uh, something to manufacture well, now you can manufacture drones for the new capital ships. Which I can guarantee you, uh, those drones when they explode, yeah, uh, that's going to be expensive. Now I did say uh, for a very attack. long time now that the tier 4 ships will skyrocket in price we and now a Thrasher 4, the Thrasher tier 4 version of the ship costs about, I don't know, like 5 million or something, well, chance is that that thing will go up to 50 million because that ship might be uh, used for the, for the carrier, for the drone. And of course, the other tier 4 ships, frigates and stars, will go up in price because, well, you will have to you will have to manufacture them, buy them if you want to manufacture the new drones for the new ships. Honestly, that's a very smart idea. That's a very smart idea. 
and I personally like it a lot. And I'm not even a industrial pilot. I usually go and blow up ships, so uh, I think it will be very exciting to see how this plays out. Definitely uh, a pleasant, pleasant new thing that was added, and I will see what I can do uh, with the ships. Now every ship, every faction has uh, its own attributes, which I also really like. For example, if I were to go and buy one of these carriers, it would be the Bladeda carrier, because I love I love Bladeda carriers, I love Bladeda ships in general, so... Since this is going to be the first one, the first faction carrier for the... the first faction ship for... the first faction capital ship for the Dreadnoughts, so... The first faction capital ship for... the Blood Raiders. There's a big chance that I will fly one. And honestly, uh, if I end up liking them, then I might change some skills and I will fly carriers. Of course, the ultimate goal remains the Chemosh, and I will keep on flying uh, the Revelation until the Chemosh arrives. Now, I expect uh, that the faction Dreadnoughts have the same manufacturing process. Basically, you will have to Warp drive have active. a Imperial Dreadnought materials and a blueprint for the for the faction capital ship. So I guess when the Chemosh is released, I might use my revelation to manufacture the the Chemosh from a blueprint. And of course I will also have the materials. So I, I think that would be a very nice way uh, on how to swap ships. So that might be the fate of my revelation might be converted to a champ in the future, which makes the whole thing even more exciting. I cannot wait for that to happen, uh, honestly, if there is something that I'm excited about, it's capital faction ships, capital dreadnoughts for matter, only because of the champ. Of course, I would be very excited for all the ships and especially for wormholes. Wormholes is something that I do miss. And of course, uh, I can't make this video without mentioning this beautiful, this beautiful image over here on the screen. Ember Sea Assault. December 13th. That's tomorrow or that's today. Uh, honestly, the artwork and some of the wallpapers that they create are, are amazing. Now, I know that the city mode or the showdown mode on the Dronos has been changed. I personally like the change because now even if I get jumped by a lot of ships I still have some resistance against disruptors and against damp damage. The current capital ship killer fleets use those two modules in order to easily overwhelm a, a capital ship. So that's a welcome blocking change. However, the drawback, the last repair, is also, I would say, a balancing factor because the force officers have the potential to repair a lot of uh, armor or shield. So, I guess, in order to balance all that out, they did add the uh, 75% resistance to the remote armor repair or shield or capacitor boost. Which honestly I'm personally okay with. After all, my capital ship is built to withstand uh, a lot of ships, a lot of capital ships, without the need of any force auxiliary. Overall, a very interesting update. And honestly, um, I'm quite surprised with the, with the change uh, on the drones, on the manufacturing process of these lightweight drones or lightweight ships, both terms are actually fine. Very interesting idea, uh, a very smart idea, when, when you think about it, it's actually really smart. Because I know uh, that a lot of industry players uh, did want to have something like this, and well, finally they get something that they can play around with. Now I don't have a alt that does industry, most of my alts, well most of my alts, I don't have any, I have only one, so my one and only alt is used as a tackle. 
However, under attack. we will see uh, what I'll do as things keep on, as things keep playing under out. Attack. So far, I'm personally bad with uh, how things have been. So far, it was a very satisfying uh, game experience. Still waiting for all the ships to be released, including smaller ships. I really want to have the faction frigates, the imperial frigates, to be more accurate. I'd also like to uh, see wormholes. Oh man, I, I can tell you when you get wormholes, I'm vanishing the wormhole and I'm getting out of there for for a full month. I'm going to explore the whole place. And there is also the um, the sea assault or whatever they call it. Uh, that might be. The drone regions. I'm pretty sure the drone lands will be released very soon. I just have the feeling that it's going to happen. The drone lands, basically the little area on the map, on the right side of the galaxy that is still unexplored. It's on the map, but there is no way to uh, get there at the moment, at least. So the drone lands might be released very soon. And I think that would basically summarize the whole uh, the whole update overall. I know many players are excited, and I'm also excited for the for the new stuff. Cannot wait to actually play around with those with these new carriers. They might be interesting, uh, and I believe that if I end up liking them, that I'll be working to get one. After all, I have a lot of stuff that I couldn't, that, that I could sell. So, with that being said, uh, that would be, uh, that will be it for this little video on the new update tomorrow, or today, depends when the video goes live. And with that being said, stay safe, fly safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.